just be careful, right? You'll notice I haven't drawn um, my parallelogram on here. And there's a reason why. If I want to consider z1 take away z2 and its modulus, right? Where's that going to go on here? Well, it's not going to go into this parallelogram, at least not at first, not directly, right? It goes into a different parallelogram altogether. Do you remember this when we had a look at addition <laughs> and subtraction and how they're different? Do you remember that this is really this? Do you remember that? Subtracting is adding the negation, okay? So I really need to get the negation on the picture here, which is going down in this direction. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Lee, do you mind if I speak to you in about 60 seconds? New casual teachers. Okay, now, think about this, right? Think about this. We've got the negation, right? Negative Z2, so that's going to be heading rotation pi radians down this way. Okay, so we're going down somewhere about there. Yes? You happy with that? Now, remembering that this, thinking in vector land, right, is stringing together this vector and this vector. Okay, where's my parallelogram now? Do you remember? It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be down here, right? It's gonna end up in the fourth quadrant, okay? So let's draw that parallelogram in. Okay, now I'm gonna pause there. You should be able to draw in now where Z1 minus Z2 is, and you should be able to therefore put Z1 minus Z2 as a vector back up in the first quadrant where it, um, inverted commas, where it belongs, okay? You do that and then see if you can make this same set of statements, this same set of inequalities for the triangle that you produce, okay? okay. Where Z1 minus Z2 should belong in this parallelogram, right? So it's gonna be <coughs> Z1 and then you do your negative Z2 vector, which is why you land here, right? So this, this here is the position vector for Z1 minus Z2, because it's coming from the origin. You okay with that? But of course, to complete our triangle, you've got two choices, right? You've got two choices. You can either take Z1 minus Z2, consider the free vector of that as this guy up here, or alternatively, you could do this trick that we had over here, consider the free vector of Z2, and move him over to here, because they've got the same magnitude, right? Now, for reasons that will become clear, We'll see if we get to it this lesson. We'll either get to it this lesson or period two. I think it's actually going to be more helpful to consider this guy up here. So I'm going to move Z1 minus Z2. I'm going to consider that free vector. Like I said, you'll get the same result either way because you'll get the triangle with the same sides in it. But this will be more useful to us long term. So now up in the first quadrant, I've got a Z1, Z2, Z1 take away Z2 triangle. Okay. All right, hand me some inequalities. What do you got for me? Anyone? Write them down. <laughs> Let me start you off. How about um, how about this one? Oops, minus. What can I say about this? I can say this is like this is like equivalent to this one, isn't it? Right, it's, it's the same statement, it's just an, a different side, but it's still in a triangle, so I can still say that. All right, give me another one. Z1 is less than or equal to Z2 plus Z1 minus Z2. Good. And I've got one last one, which is this one, but with the Z1 and Z2 swapped. Okay, like so. Okay, now. Having got these on hand, right? Again, these are all true. These are all true. But which of these are most useful or elegant to us? Let me see. So when I drew it, it looks smaller than Z1. Uh, which one? Which one are you talking about? Z1 minus Z2. Yep. It looks smaller than Z1. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. So you might notice, you might notice, depending on the triangle that I draw, for instance, remember I, I said over here, okay? Um, Z1 plus Z2 is the longest side in this triangle. Do you remember I said that, right? But it doesn't have to be the longest side in the triangle. I can think of a Z1 and a Z2 that are both quite long, but will make Z1 plus Z2 really short. Okay, have a think about it. Can you imagine such a triangle? Let's just do this off on the side. Don't draw this, right? But just imagine. Can you think of a, a simple pair of complex numbers, Z1 and Z2, that when you add them, will make... Um, Z1 plus Z2, very short. Have a think, come on. It's not that hard. Six plus, six plus, six plus, six plus. Uh, okay, all right, so let's have a think about, say, 
If I go, um, oh sorry, that was not the number you suggested. If I said five plus six up, that'd be fine. That's, that looks okay, yeah. And five minus six I. What happened when you add those? You get a straight line. You're gonna, um, these are conjugates, right? So this, these two imaginary parts will disappear. So you're gonna get something over here. Now hold on a second though. These are still, this guy's still gonna be longer, isn't he? Yeah. Because you're gonna get an isosceles triangle, okay? And this length will be longer, so that's fine, right? That was a different version. But this z1 plus z2 still ended up longer. Try again. Can you give me one more z1 minus plus z2? Five. The sum will be shorter. Yeah. Make the second number minus 5 minus 6i. Okay, okay, so. <laughs> Alright. So you put them over here. Okay. Now. <laughs> when I add these, when I add these, what am I going to get? Zero. I'm, I'm going to get zero. Okay, now that's fine. That's still true. <laughs> not as interesting, not as interesting, okay. Can you give me one which is going to make an actual triangle? Come on, it's not, it's not that hard. Let's stay with um, James' original plus suggestion. Plus Let's go 5 plus 6, I like that. What could I add to this? That would still give me a triangle. 2 minus 3i. 2 minus 3i, down here. Wait, what are we trying still to make? Uh, I'm trying to make Z1 plus Z2. Really I'm trying to make it shorter. I'm trying to make it a shorter length in the triangle. Oh, how about like something just underneath it? Do you want to give me 6 plus 2i? 6 plus 2i, like that? Yeah, yeah. That makes it tiny. tiny. Uh, Is it going to work? Wait, how about. I don't know. How about huh. minus two? Think about the parallelogram law. Oh no, it's, it's not going to work, is it? Because 6 plus 2i, that's going to be 11 plus 8i. That's still going to go off in this direction. We were on the right track with the negatives, right? Because the negatives are going to make a number smaller. Right? So let's rewind. I think, I think you're starting to see it's going to have to be somewhere down here. Right? Do you see that? Okay. So let me come up with some something like... Okay, if that's 5, let's make this... Um, Minus 2, minus 3i, something like that. Okay? Now just do the numbers. Don't think geometrically yet. Just add these two. What's the real part? Three. Three. What's the imaginary part? Minus 3i. 3i. Okay, 3 plus 3i. So if that's 5 plus 6i, then 3 plus 3i should be somewhere like this. Ish. Okay? You see that? Now let me consider... The, um, that's a bad diagram, but you got to read that. I, I still have established my point of which one's longer and which one's shorter. Let me consider the free vector of this guy. He's going to belong... Oh, uh, it's the wrong way, isn't it? 3 plus 3i yeah. should be down here. And then he is going to be the free vector of minus 2 minus 3i. Are you okay like that? Yeah? So here in, in this spot here, there's the 1 plus z2. It's shorter. That's a bit weird because you're like adding things, but because you're adding something that's negative, Right? No wonder it ends up being smaller. Now, therefore, though, does that break what I say over here? No. Does it? No. It doesn't at all, does yeah, it? Because yeah, I don't care yeah. which side is longer. Right? All of these are true, no matter what you can say about the longest side, or the second longest side, the middle side, or the shortest side. It doesn't matter. The triangle inequality is still true. It's just that I've picked this one because it gives me a more interesting statement. Okay? So if I'm um, coming back to... <laughs> we had a point here, right? Coming back to here, if you're like, oh, my length is shorter, that's okay. In fact, on my diagram, the length is probably slightly shorter. And it doesn't, whether, whether the lengths are relatively shorter or longer, does not affect the truth or falsehood of any of these statements. Okay, which is why, this is my whole point of saying one, two, three. I say all of them. Um, textbooks often jump in and they just say this one, and they say, I haven't picked out which one's the most interesting one here, I will in a second. They just pick out that one. Makes it seem as if they're the special ones. They're not. They're all true. Okay, we just pick out one because it's more interesting to say.